We are here. We are part two of the Wisdom of Psychopaths, a book review. I'm almost done, but my camera paused last time. Uh, it was full. Anyways, I want to read this here. Uh, pick up. It's important. Uh, Henry Henry Lee Lucas was a prophilic American serial killer, once described as the greatest monster who ever lived, whose confessions led to the bodies of 246 victims. Fucking sicko, sicko psycho. Um. 189 of whom was subsequently convicted of murdering. Lucas's killing spree spanned three decades from 1960 when he stabbed his mother to death in an argument before having sex with her corpse. Like, what the fuck? So clearly this is someone who is like mentally deranged and you know what I mean? But this is disgusting. To his arrest in 1983, I was two years old at the time. For the unlawful possession of a firearm. That's what he got arrested for. In, in the late 1970s, Lucas teamed up with an accomplice, Otis Toole, and together the pair drifted around the southern United States, preying primarily but not exclusively on hitchhikers. On one occasion, they apparently drove across two states before realizing that the, that the severed head of their latest victim was still in the backseat of their car. Like, blows my mind. I had no feelings for the people themselves or any of the crimes, Lucas once stated. I'd pick them up hitchhiking, running, and playing, stuff like that. We'd get to going and having a good time. First thing you know, I'd kill her and throw her out somewhere. In 2001, Lucas died in prison of heart failure. Nobody's going to miss him. Uh, his story is told in the 1986 film Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, which I've just downloaded. I don't really like this stuff and want to watch this stuff you gotta be careful when you start reading about this stuff you get like um even more and more and more and more uh I'm thinking of one gentleman in the tools of titans this guy was absolutely disgusting so if you kind of like keep reading that kind of stuff it's going to lead you down like your mind down a dark path and uh uh i'd rather just focus on the good positive things because it's like hard enough to be I mean, I think the world needs more positive people, right? If you're saying, if you have a positive message, you're good in my books. Whether or not you're my style or we get along or whatever, that's really irrelevant, right? If you're a positive message, that sounds good to me. Um, and there's a comment here about, uh, but I'm going to re watch this movie because this is insane. Anyways, Bundy knew, rationally at least, which buttons to press in order to get their assistance in order to gain their trust. So gaining someone's trust, right? That's like, just just terrible. But you know what, for me, um, th this is like a way, hey, you gotta wake up, you gotta realize, right? Like this is the real world, right? Evil stuff exists. Like where I live in Vancouver, it's crazy here, man. It's absolutely crazy. Not all psychopaths, it would seem, are colorblind. Some see the stop sign in exactly the same way as the rest of us. It's just that they choose to run the light. They don't care. Sabrina Dimitrov of the University of British Columbia. Ah, I'd like to reach out to her. Go for lunch. Ask her questions. Maybe get her on a podcast. Um, which we are opening up an office like pretty soon. Next couple of weeks. I can start doing some stuff a little better than this ghetto uh, videos I'm doing now. Some of my friends in comments get to like, tell me how bad my videos suck, but you know, it is what it is, right? I'd rather do something than nothing. Such openness to experience is a quality common to psychopaths and saints. Open-minded. If you're closed-minded, I don't waste the pros on the swine. And if you recall, constitutes an integral component of mindfulness Meditation. Be open-minded, brother. Okay, let's go. And that's all I got. This is part two of the wisdom of the psychopaths. And, uh, you know, interesting concept, right? And uh, I like this owl. Owls are cool. And anyways, so subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, because uh, I think I got like 54 subscribers now. Like, I'm not really even trying to do anything. Um... Because, you know, this is just a kind of a passion project. I actually have to work.
And uh, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I promise to bring more value and uh, building multiple brands. So whatever information you're looking for, uh, I want to give you that information or point you in that direction. That's kind of what I'm going to do with the audience. Um, I look at kind of this whole internet economy as a management information system. So I look at my entire business as a computer science challenge. Um, and on the way, I know if I help other people, they'll help me, right? So all I really want you to do is join my YouTube channel. And then as time goes on, I'll promote my brand and sign to my uh, sign up on my email newsletters. And just click my emails, man. If you click my emails, I make money. And I don't think that's too much to ask. So I hope you're having a good February. And uh, take care, guys. And uh, crush your goals. Make sure your goals are written down. And uh, that's awesome. Peace.